Welcome to episode 8, The Lake Farm Hill Climb, in which I review fantasy sports cars with improbable performance. Sometimes. Not all the cars of Cyberpunk 2077 are sports cars, as we've seen. Not all have improbable performance. Not even those that are improbably expensive. And there are, as again we've seen, some vehicles which aren't improbably expensive, some even that one can get free. The car I'm going to review in this episode is one such. You not only can get it for free, you will get it for free. At the start of Act 1, you already own it. The Archer Ella. One should not they say, look gift horses in the mouth. My first Citroen came in a colour which was called Brun Cigar. It was a standing joke that this probably meant shit brown. Your Heller 8 is Brun Cigar, with a contrasting stripe of faded gold. It looks something like a large 1980s Saab, a huge ugly barge of a car, with the waistline raising sharply at the sea pillar and odd plastic spoilers stuck on for no discernible reason. It's not excessively tatty. Inside, the sewage works colour scheme continues. It's clearly seen better days, but it also clearly wasn't a high quality vehicle from the start. It does, however, have a wealth of knobs and buttons to twiddle with, or at least look at, and an ugly nodding dog on the dashboard for company. It drives off smoothly enough, and with a somewhat high-pitched and thrashy engine sound, it manages the dogleg onto the main road almost lightly. Once on the beginning of the climb, I'm faced with this arch of quartz, and my instinct is to overtake, but the heller hasn't got the legs, so I drop behind. The engine noise here is perfect. I can't blame the car for the mess I make of this first hairpin. I turned in too sharply, but this is driver. But correcting, I lost traction at 14 miles per hour under modest acceleration. Correcting my line through the second hairpin, I lose traction again. Again I'm faced with a car ahead, and this time I overtake successfully. But the consequence is that I enter the third hairpin too fast. Again, driver error. And be probably because the throw of the steering joystick is so short, get into a fishtail. Neither of these is strictly a problem with the car. Again, I come into the fourth step in faster than I should in this car, oversteer, overcorrect, and then lose traction. Sideswipe from the arm curve. This is poor driving too, but the poor traction and vague steering don't help. In the first in the fifth step in, I lose the back end spectacularly. To recover from the lost reason. Before disaster. Car bounces a bit. Recovers okay. Fortunately, I didn't hit anything hard. The acceleration is modest. It goes. Here on the straights out to the finish, it goes even reasonably well. But overall, what do I think? 
The Heller is worth every eddy you pay for it, and not a euro cent more. It's a heap. It looks like a heap, it handles like a heap, and it performs like a heap. Oh look! Some kind person has, much, has left a much nicer car at the top here. I'll probably take that down. 